What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video here today on my channel. Today we're going to be talking about is something that all of the Call of Duty community is talking about. It's something you've probably heard here or there in your sub boxes on Twitter, wherever it may in fact be. Today we're going to be talking about the exclusivity deal between Xbox One and PlayStation 4, if somebody's going to be getting it at all, and if so, who will it be? Before we get too far into it, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of quality Black Ops 3 content. E3 is right around the corner, so we're going to have a ton of stuff to talk about. And if you guys do like the video, be sure to leave a like rating down below. It really does help the video as well as the channel out tremendously and as always is greatly appreciated. So getting right into it right now, we have absolutely no idea who will get the exclusivity deal for Black Ops 3 DLC, what the preferred console is, or if there even is anybody getting that at all. The biggest thing here to note out of this is that E3 again is right around the corner. It is next week and I can guarantee you at that point in time, whenever it is revealed, everything is thrown down on the table from Activision and Treyarch for Black Ops 3. At the end of the day, we'll know exactly who has the exclusivity deal, if anybody does at all. So to see what we can potentially see coming out of E3 and anticipating what we're going to have given to us here with the Activision conference for Black Ops 3, we have to take a look at a few facts that we already know at this point in time. Firstly, and I think the biggest one for this topic is the exclusivity contract that Activision had with Microsoft and Xbox. If you guys did not know the past three years, Xbox did in fact have the licensing rights to get DLC early and to have branding on the marketing tools for the Call of Duty franchise, such as trailers, consoles, and such. Now, the biggest thing coming out of this and what is causing all of this questionability and what we can see coming out of E3 and where we can expect the DLC and exclusivity to come with Black Ops 3 comes out of the fact that that deal is now actually expired. Activision now has the choice to renew it with Microsoft or move over to Sony and PlayStation or not even renew it at all for anybody. According to Twitter and the rest of the internet that is a fan of Call of Duty, PlayStation 4 seems to be the front runner of this new air quote deal that will be happening based on a few things. One, that all the early access gameplay was actually played on PlayStation 4s. A lot of the bigger YouTubers that went to the events for the reveal of Black Ops 3 actually got to play it and they played on PlayStation 4s, not Xbox Ones. As well as number two here, ESPN just recently published an article with Marshawn Lynch. We covered that here yesterday in which the first actual multiplayer HUD image was teased and in that photo you can see that Marshawn Lynch and his companion beside him were actually playing Black Ops 3 on PlayStation 4s despite having Xbox Ones underneath the shelves for the actual monitors. So why does it look like PlayStation 4 is the favored console here right now? Potentially yes we could be seeing it actually move over to a PlayStation 4 exclusive deal but right now we can't go off of that because that is sheer speculation. What we can do is look at the actual facts. Firstly, PlayStation 4 sales numbers are just exponentially larger than Xbox One's. As of this last quarter here, the sales reports for the Xbox One versus PlayStation 4, the Xbox One has only sold 10 million copies indicated by their sales reports, and PlayStation 4 actually sold over 22.3 million. So that in itself is just some dwarfing numbers right there, and naturally player numbers on PlayStation 4 are much higher than Xbox One's player numbers, so it could work out that Activision markets this deal towards PlayStation 4 because the masses are there on PlayStation 4, but another theory is the fact that Activision could maybe work this in reverse instead of marketing it to PlayStation 4 where the masses are. Could they actually market it to Microsoft here again for another deal so that it could help boost up the sales of Xbox One because Microsoft and Activision have been closely knit now for a long time, so it could work out like a buddy system, but I find that theory to be a little bit improbable, but instead of actually trying to favor which one or the other gets it just based off of sales numbers alone, we do know that they've been playtesting the game on PlayStation 4, and that's another thing that a lot of people are saying is going to suggest a PlayStation 4 deal for DLC early for Black Ops 3, but the biggest thing I think out of this to take a look at is the hardware differences between two consoles. Now, if you're going from straight up a console development 
standpoint, PlayStation 4 is by far the way to go to develop your game on and then port it over to Xbox One, simply because the hardware on the PlayStation 4 is much better than the Xbox One. If you guys did miss it, Xbox One actually still doesn't even have an announced resolution in which it's going to be outputted at launch. Obviously, it's still pre-alpha build and there's a lot of time to work out the kinks, but the past two years, PlayStation 4 has actually had Call of Duty Ghosts as well as Advanced Warfare output to native 1080p while Xbox One has been 900p and I think maybe 950 or 1000p. So obviously that's not too big of a difference, but in terms of the output as a whole and a raw developing standpoint, that is massive. The only thing that's been confirmed for Xbox One is that it will run at a full 60 frames per second, which is something that we have seen frame tearing in a lot of circumstances, both on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. But overall, PlayStation 4, not just resolution wise, but in terms of RAM and everything else, has a lot more than Xbox One. Now, there is a rumor that both consoles will be getting a hardware refresh in which it will support 4K 60 FPS. That's something that is only rumored at the time and it really would not affect the development of Black Ops 3 and probably wouldn't even affect the development of next year's title as well, to be honest with you. So, right now, that's where we're stuck at. That's the facts that we have. And really, it's still kind of gridlocked. I think it could go either way or maybe not even at all. So, that's where we're going to end up the video here today, ladies and gentlemen. Let us just think down there in the comment section down below. What console do you think the exclusivity deal will fall to? Xbox One or PlayStation 4? Or do you think there won't be one at all? And finally, if it is the opposite of whichever one you would like, would you be willing to change for Black Ops 3's DLC? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like the video, be sure to like rating down below. Any shares your Facebook, Twitter, enter my space if you object. That always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best quality Black Ops 3 content. As I said, E3 is right around the corner, so we're going to have a ton of stuff here to talk about within the next couple of days to maybe even weeks. But thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Nicole Espresso. As always, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>